but I'm in on trying to win a couple of bucks on this game. And it's an interesting line. Let me ask Kyle Scott, CrossingBroad.com. We look at the line, some trends on the Eagles game, how to bet it every week. If I were to ask you, what does the betting line tell you? Is this an Eagle line or a Bears line? I would ask you, you own a Kangol hat? I do not. I do not. No, no, McMullen, McMullen, McMullen has a lot of them, and so does Joe Krause from Jacob Media, who uh, is helping put this event on on Sunday. He has, I think he said he has over a 1,000 of them. I have never collection. seen Joe Krause not wearing yes, a I've thousands. never seen him without it. That's correct. Wow, you, you never go full blabbit, but I guess you do. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Arians pulls it off all right. He goes frontwards, Kangol. He does go front. Krause Kangle. goes backwards, yes. Kangol. Yeah, the backwards is like straight early 90s Michael Jordan. Yeah, like, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, so to answer your question. I, we threw I a lot like at you there. Yeah, Kangol, yeah, yeah, ECW, is. I, I mean, you, you pick what you like. My, my oh, That's all my Kangol knowledge, so I'm out. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I I'll think take you to memory. We'll improve it. Yeah, Eagle line. It, it's crept. It, you know, it's crept up a little bit. I, I you know, it's a, one of those things where okay, it's more than three, so it's telling me they like the Eagles better overall on a neutral field. Uh, given how up and down the season has been, I'll take anything that's in their favor, even against you know what is a a pretty you know putrid offensive team in in the Bears. So. First off, it opened up at what, like three and a half and then moved up to five, and it's kind of hung, hung around that spot there. And any thought on why it kind of moved up? Well, it can't be just Deshaun Jackson, can it? No, I don't. Well, I mean, it might be. I mean, but now it's it's crept back. Like Fox Bet has them at four, you know, four and a half at FanDuel. So it kind of jumped up and it seems to have settled back down a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, some of the early action was definitely on the birds. I know DraftKings had some early money and action pretty immediately on the birds. Um, but, you know, I mean, it looks like they it kind of reached its threshold at, at five points. So I, I think we're going to wind up in the four to like four or four and a half range probably. All right. Uh, so what are some of the uh, trends in this game that jump out at you for Sunday? <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, they're, they're not particularly good in this sort of – to call it the field goal to touchdown favored ratio at home. Uh, the Eagles are only four and six against the spread uh, when favored between four to six and a half points. Uh, same same amount and coming off a big win. Uh, teams that are favored between four and a half, six and a half, coming off a two touchdown win are only 19 and 27 against the spread. Home favorites of four to five points that are coming off a road win of 14 or more. Uh, are are actually pretty good, 27 and 12 against the spread. So some, you know, kind of uh, contradictory uh, spreads there. But uh, the one that's a little bit telling, all home teams coming off three straight road games are 22, 30, and 5 against the spread. So, you know, these teams coming back from these long road trips typically don't do particularly well at home. And I think that's that's something that stands across all sports. You know, that first home game, you, you tend to ease off the break, feel a little bit more comfortable. So... Uh, if nothing else, I don't like the Eagles to get off to a hot start, which isn't isn't exactly a hot take. But I, you know, I don't view this as the game where they uh, actually score some points in the first quarter. I, you know, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I tend to agree with you. And just to go off that those home stats, Eagles are three and seven against the spread in the last ten at the link, and then you see where the public is going. And I never like this when it's heavily tilted. To one side you know over 70 percent of all the tickets uh have gone the eagles way so it seems like it's lining up as a bears cover but that's not always the case you say the eagles don't, aren't going to score a ton of points early also tend to agree with that but how do you see it playing out what are some betting trends you know for that number to possibly go over or is it going to be really low scoring yeah, well, I mean, we got – I mean, so, again, a couple of, of divergent ones here. I mean, and to add on to your 2-10 two and two and ten against the spread, I mean, most of those are Wentz games. So, Wentz alone is 2-7 and seven against the spread as last night starts at the link. Uh, and the Eagles, you know, the under is 18-9 and nine in Doug Peterson games at Lincoln Financial Field. That's a trend we were on last year. It was actually pretty profitable. Uh, and 14-3 and three in non-division games uh, at the link. So, the under is, is a, usually a pretty good play in Doug Peterson – home games. So I don't have like a ton of 
ton of oomph on the over here. Uh, one more. The under is 25-17 and 17 when the home team is coming off a game in which they scored over 30 points on the road. So, I mean, that one's a little bit more narrow. But definitely Doug Peterson home unders have been the way to go. Um, you know, and I think with it just a really, really – uh, you know, bad Bears offense. If the Eagles are to win this game, they're probably not going to need to score a ton of points. They're heading into a bye week, so even if Deshaun plays, you know, I don't think they're going to try and overuse him and have run, you know, have him run, you know, ten patterns all, you know, down the field. Um, one thing I like here, you know, if you take that into account with the slow start and all of that, I love a bet on like the highest scoring quarter in this one. Um, you know, I wouldn't put those chips on the first quarter. You, you know, you know Carson Wentz sort of settles in in the third quarter. You can get him at plus 550 for the highest scoring quarter of the game to be the third quarter. I think there's a little bit of value in that. Well, that's a good prop. I was going to ask you, uh, Kyle, about maybe some player props down that might, you know, resurface in the next day or two. I'm thinking something Allen Robinson-ish, only because even in losses, wide receivers have done well against the Eagles this year. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree, um, and and honestly, that was one of the ones on my list here. But I, I think, you know, if you look at the Eagles secondary, you have a good quality receiver. I mean, he's pretty much a, their their best and only receiving option. So I like that. I also like a, an Eagles special teams touchdown, and I mean the odds aren't that extreme here. I mean they're you know plus four hundred, um, you know plus eighteen hundred if you take it to get the first touchdown of the game is an Eagles pick six. So. I don't know. I kind of like that at plus four hundred. You have, uh, you know, you have a bad offense. You have a defense that's playing with a little more pride at home. You know, I, I I've seen worse. That's basically a Mitchell Trubisky prop. <laughs> like you're just banking <laughs> exactly. on him being terrible and turning the ball over, which is good. That's a good odds for that's, that. That's that's a good bet. <laughs> good value. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. And man, if you took it back to last week, like the number of times that guy fumbled the ball, I would have loved to have played that last week. You know. Well, we're um, talking with the. Uh, Kyle yeah. Scott, CrossingBroad.com is uh, the Eagles getting ready to play the Bears. And, you know, you mentioned a lot of the uh, the odds and the trends in this game. And overall, you know, the Bears are a team that, you know, just struggles so much offensively. What do you think of the uh, the total there? Yeah, I I, I mean, it's, we- it's weirdly low. I mean, 40, there's a low total across the board this week. I mean, there's, you got a, a handful, a couple in the 30s, uh, a couple in the very, very low 40s. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like it's one you want to take the over on, but given the given the Doug Peterson eighteen and nine under being the home play, given the Eagles' slow starts, given the Bears' offense, uh, you know, given the fact the Eagles just don't really seem that well equipped to run up the score, and, and they typically don't at home, I, you know, and you got the injury concerns. I don't think they're going to overextend guys like Deshaun Hetty, you know, with the bye coming up. So I, I kind of like the under. I, I've, you know, I think Bob and I have almost consistently always played the under in Eagles home games the last couple of years, and it's served us well. Um, mm. So I, I'll take that. And if there's going to be any scoring, I'll, I'll put my money on the fourth quarter. Like do a weird, uh, you know, do a weird custom parlay of game under but over in the third quarter, and um, you know, really go nuts. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, the Eagles yeah. slow starters. You know, their third quarter has been the best. So overall, uh, how are you playing this game? So I like – I know we, we, we talk a lot about these winning margins. Um, again, don't think the Eagles are, are in a position to really blow them out here. Like, like the Eagles, 1 to 13 points at plus 140. So you get a little bit of added value there, a little bit of plus money. If you like the Eagles to win, probably not going to be a blowout. I'd take that over just like a – certainly a straight money line bet there. But even a spread bet, you know, just this way you're covered if the Eagles actually win the game. And, you know, hopefully they don't go. Hopefully they just call off the dogs and, and run a lot of Jordan Howard against his former team late in the game. All right. Uh, Five-point spread for uh, Chicago. Uh, they are a five-point dog on the road at Philadelphia. And, of course, uh, you can listen to the game right here on 97.3 ESPN. Kyle Scott, CrossingBroad.com. They'll have plenty <laughs> more on how to bet this game at CrossingBroad.com. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Have a good one.